Hello guys and girls, welcome to the 6.5 algebra video. Today we're going to look at how these, how what we've learned in the past couple classes can be applied to life every day. So before we do that, I want to take a look at how we can determine what the best method is for solving a system of equations. Alright, so we've got three notes here, the three different methods for solving a system of equations. The first one we have is graphing, substitution, and elimination. And now all you guys know how to use each of these methods, but we want to take a look at how do we know which ones to use and when. So obviously, if we're going to use graphing, the best time to use graphing is when both equations are already in slope-intercept form for us. So we've already got y equals mx plus b. But if we see that one of our equations has already given us um, the value of x, so if we have, for instance, a system of equations where 1 is x equals uh, y plus 3, then we already know what x is, so we can use the substitution method to solve the rest of, to solve the system of equations. All right. Uh, whenever we have those two instances, we'll use graphing and substitution. But if we don't, then our best method is most likely going to be elimination. And we've learned how to use that by multiplication as well. So let's take a look at our example number one. When I look at our example number one, I think which method should we use to solve this. I immediately see that there is y, a 1 in front of the y and a positive 4. So I already am thinking... If I multiply this first equation by a negative 4, then I'll be able to cancel out my y's immediately. So I'm already thinking that elimination is probably going to be the best solution, or the best method for solving the system of equations. And we're not just doing simply elimination, we're doing elimination using multiplication. Okay, now some of you may look at this problem and say, well, we've got y by itself almost, so if we just add 2x to both sides and change the equation to y equals 2x plus 5, then we could use that way for substitution. So there's more than one way to solve this system of equations, um, and I would say both of those are good methods for solving. But let's take a look at number two. Number two, we have a coefficient in front of each of them. None of them can be canceled out right away, so our best solution is going our best method for solution is going to be elimination once again by multiplication. Okay, so what we're going to want to do here is multiply the first equation by 2 and the second equation by 8. Okay, then we'll get the same coefficients in front of the x because 8 and 2 is 16 and 8 and 2 is 16. Oh, we're going to make one of these negative though. We're going to have negative 8 so that when we add these together, they will cancel. All right. So I want you guys to go ahead and pause the video and do these next two problems on your own. And when you are finished, come on back and I will show you how these apply to the world today. Okay guys, welcome back. Now we're going to look and see how this applies to real life today. From our example, two hiking groups made the purchases shown in the chart. What is the cost of each item? So we've got two different items, muffins and granolas. And that's those are going to be our variables. So for our first variable, we're going to call 
muffins m and our second variable we're going to call granola bars g and we're going to create an equation for each group so our first group we have if we buy six muffins plus 12 granola bars then the total cost is 26.70 for our second group, if we buy eight muffins and 15 granola bars, our total cost is $34. Okay, so we just used M for muffins and G for granola bars, and then we can use any of our methods to solve this system of equations. I think the best one to use is going to be elimination by multiplication because if we multiply the first equation by a negative 4 and we multiply the second equation by a positive 3 then we're going to get a positive 24m down here and a negative 24m up here so those will cancel so we'll end up getting I'm just going to carry it over here negative 24 m minus 48 g equals negative 106.8 for our new equation below we'll have 24 m plus 45 g equals 102 then we can add these and our m's are going to cancel we'll be left with negative 3g equals 4.8 divide each side by negative 3 and we're left with g equals 1.6 so we know the price of that's an equal sign we know the price of the granola bars was 1.6 and we can plug that back into our equation and solve for the price of the muffins so we have 8m plus 15 times 1.6 equals 34. And we end up getting 8m plus 24 equals 34. So if we subtract 24 from each side, we'll be left with 8m equals 10. Divide each side by 8, and we're left with m equals 1.25. 1.25. Okay, so our final answer is going to be muffins cost $1.25, and granola bars cost $1.06. Alright, so I want you to take the time and work on the pool party I think you guys can do it on your own and when you finish that come on back and we'll take a look at the car rental problem okay so we've got two car rental places Ace Car Rental rents a car for $45.25 per mile Star Car Rental rents a car for $35.30 per mile how many miles would a driver need to drive before the cost of renting a car at Ace Car Rental and renting a car at Star Car Rental were the same. Okay, so the objective is to find out how many miles can we go and get the same cost, same total cost. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to set up an equation for Ace Car Rental and an equation for Star Car Rental. Okay. First, let's start with the Ace Car Rental. I'm going to use Y to represent the cost. I'm going to use X to represent the number of miles. All right. So for Ace Car, we don't know the total cost. We're trying to find out, but we know that for every mile, it costs 25 cents. So 0.25 times X. It's going to be the cost of the mile, cost of how many miles, plus 
forty-five dollars, which we have to pay for the car rental. So we, there's our forty-five and our twenty-five. We're gonna set up the same type of equation for star car rental. Star car rental, the total cost we don't know yet. How much do we have to pay per mile? Thirty cents. So point three zero times the number of miles we go, plus the thirty-five dollars to rent the car. All right, so there we've got our two equations, and we can use a number of different methods to solve them. But since we've already been solved for y, I think substitution is going to be our best method. Or another way to think of it is, if this is how much it costs for ace car, and this is how much it costs for star car, then if we set those equal, we can find out how many miles it takes until the price is the same, right? So one way to think about it is like that, or one way to think about it is y equals this right here, so I'm going to substitute and solve for the number of miles. All right, so let's take a look at doing that. We're just going to use substitution. So we got 0.30x plus 35 equals 0.25x plus 45. Now we're going to subtract 35 from each side. Oops, I erased that there. And subtract 35 from each side. We'll be left with 0.30x equals 0.25x plus 10. And if we subtract 0.25x from each side, We're going to be left with 0.05x equals, please cancel, 10. And then we get a total, divide each side by 0 0.05, and we get x equals 200. So when x equals 200, our equations are the same. So what, what we're saying is when we go 200 miles, the cost of renting a car is the same at both places. So our final answer is going to be x equals 200 miles. One thing I forgot to mention though is if we want to check our answer, all we have to do is substitute 200 in for both equations to see if they are equal. So we can do y, plug it into our first equation, we get y equals 0 0.25 times 200 plus 45. If we multiply all of that out, we end up getting $95. Then we can do the same thing for star car. We will do y equals 0 0.30 times 200 plus 35. When we multiply all of that out, we get $95 as well. So there we can see if we go 200 miles in ACE car, it costs $95. We go 200 miles in STAR car, it costs $95. So 200 is our final answer.